Dissenting shareholders to a merger have a right of appraisal or a right to receive the fair value for their shares after evaluation by a court. In determining fair value, a court pretends as if the merger hadn't occurred to calculate the corporation's going concern or business value assuming continued operation. In the 1993 case Seed & Company v. Technicolor Incorporated, the Delaware Supreme Court considered whether a court must consider non-speculative post-merger plans when calculating a corporation's going concern in an appraisal proceeding. Technicolor was a corporation engaged in the business of processing film for Hollywood movies. But by the late 1970s, the corporation began suffering financial losses. By 1982, Technicolor was in serious financial trouble. Around the same time, Ron Perlman, the controlling shareholder of McAndrews and Forbes Group Incorporated, or MAF, determined that Technicolor would be an attractive takeover candidate. Following discussions, Technicolor and MAF agreed to a two-step merger in which MAF would make a cash tender offer of $23 per share and then conduct a cash-out merger with shareholders who didn't accept the tender offer. In November of 1982, the tender offer opened, and by the time the offer closed, MAF had acquired 82% of Technicolor's shares. Meanwhile, MAF had developed a plan for improving Technicolor's performance, which included selling Technicolor's unprofitable divisions. In addition, during the intermediate period while the tender offer was pending, MAF refined its strategy and took initial steps toward eliminating unprofitable divisions. Subsequently, Cinerama Incorporated, a dissenting shareholder from the merger, and Seed & Company, the beneficial owner of Cinerama shares, brought an appraisal proceeding against Technicolor in the Delaware Chancery Court. Following a hearing, the Chancery Court held that it couldn't consider MAF's plan to eliminate unprofitable divisions in calculating Technicolor's going concern and found the fair value of Cinerama's stock to be $21.60 per share on the date of the merger. Cinerama and Seed then appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court.